What's good everyone, Dave here, and thanks very much for tuning into this video. I'm gonna be doing a follow-up review on three backpacks that I initially reviewed back in 2017. The Encase Reform 15, the Black Diamond Bullet 16 liter, and the Dakai Gemini 28 liter. I'll tell you a little bit about each backpack, what I've been using them for, and how they've stood up over the last few years, plus a few pros and cons about each. Before we jump into the review, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, please consider subscribing, and please consider sharing it. So the first backpack I'm going to talk through is the Black Diamond Bullet 16 liter. Now this backpack has one small exterior pouch, as well as one large interior pouch, and inside there is a small mesh pocket with a plastic clip that you can use for your keys, for example. There is a panel in the back portion that you can use for a um, hydration bladder, a water bladder, I think that's what they're called, as well as uh, there's a removable foam insert and the uh, chest strap has a clip and the clip has a whistle built into it. After posting uh, the original review of this, I discovered that this is mostly used for uh, rock climbing. So thanks everyone who left uh, some comments about this bag. I personally use it for uh, a day pack if I'm just going out in the city. Uh, I just need something small to carry um, uh, some stuff around it. I've also used it for the gym. I also take it uh, traveling with me, throw it into my carry-on as a small backpack to use at my destination and uh, it actually fits a small camera bag into the uh, main pouch. Uh, wear and tear uh, on the inside of the main pouch, there has been some um, of the fabric that has slowly deteriorated over the last few years. However, it's in great condition and it's held up over the past three years. For those that have used it for rock climbing and its intended purpose, um, let us know in the comments below how the backpack has stood up to use out uh, uh, when you're going hiking. Uh, it would be nice to find out how the fabric has, um, has held up. Some of the pros, um, I really like that it's compact. Um, you can fit, uh, fit it in, in your carry-on and use it as a day pack uh, when you're traveling. There's easy access to the two pouches, the small exterior pouch as well as the large interior pouch. I find that the backpack is comfortable to wear and um, it has a removable waist strap which I've actually never used on this backpack. A couple of the cons, um, when it's warm and you're wearing this backpack, at least for me anyway, uh, I found that I get really sweaty on my back as well as uh, along where the shoulder straps are sitting. As I mentioned in my original video, there's no water bottle holder um, on the exterior, which obviously makes sense when you're hiking or rock climbing, you don't want anything uh, getting caught. But on the inside, it would have been nice to have had a small pouch that a water bottle could fit into. Would I buy this bag again? Uh, absolutely. I think it is a fantastic little bag and uh, it is still made by Black Diamond and still sold by them. And I would definitely buy this again when this one completely wears out or even buy a second one to have on hand. So this is the Dekine Gemini 28 liter backpack. And Dekine unfortunately does not make this uh, backpack anymore. The closest thing would be the Dekine Concourse and I'll put a photo of it up um, on the screen uh, from their website. Now I initially did a review back in March of 2017 um, of this backpack and I still use it today on a fairly regular basis for work, for the gym, plus uh, traveling with it. Uh, I actually did a two day trip just with this backpack with the Black Diamond Bullet um, inside as a little day pack and I packed this thing to the max. So some of the features of this backpack is the storage. It has a lot of storage. It's a 28 liter backpack. Uh, on the outside you have access to a water bottle um, through here. Uh, you have a compartment um, in the front which pretty much stretches the length of the front panel. You have a smaller pocket uh, on the top for uh, sunglasses, small items, a phone. And then on the back uh, 
is the laptop and tablet sleeve and it opens up and folds out. There's a space in here for tablet. You could put some small items in this area, uh, some magazines, that kind of thing. This is the laptop sleeve here, which is accessed uh, on the side and it holds a 15 inch laptop. It could probably hold a new 16 inch uh, laptop from um, Apple. Uh, some of the wear and tear is the zipper along the side uh, because I've really packed this bag a lot of the times that I've used it uh, has started to warp a little bit. There's no issues with uh, getting it open or closed. It's just a little warped. Now there's a little bit of fraying uh, in some of the fabric. There's a spot uh, here along the side, but the fabric on the outside has stood up very well. Now some of the pros of this backpack is it's, I think it's absolutely durable. Uh, it's very comfortable to wear. Um, the straps are very well padded and then they've got these three padded sections on the back panel and it is super comfortable even when it's packed and, and heavy. It is really comfortable uh, to wear. Easy access uh, to the different uh, panels and we'll open it up and I'll show you one of the really nice features of this backpack. It has a 270 degree zipper. So you can pretty much open this up and lay it flat. On the inside, there's tons of storage. There's a pouch here. Uh, it doesn't have a zipper and when the backpack is open, anything that's in here may fall out. Um, there's another, um, pocket here that's a uh, zipper. This becomes the base. Uh, there's a couple of zipper pouches here, a smaller pouch on the top. And then along the inside panels are some smaller zipper pouches. And this is the water bottle holder, or you could throw an umbrella in there, for example. Um, would I buy this backpack again? If Dakine made the Gemini, absolutely. I would probably buy another Dakine product as well because I think this has held up quite well over the past three years. And out of the three backpacks, this is the one that I use the most and have really um, uh, put it to its test. Now, last backpack, the in-case reform. This actually is my second in-case backpack. It replaced a previous laptop uh, bag that I had from in-case. Uh, this I don't use that often, mostly when I need to just carry around my, uh, my laptop and I don't want to use the, uh, the larger Gemini backpack. But uh, it's got some decent storage. It has two pockets on the outside. Um, one pocket is a soft, uh, lined uh, pouch and then the other pocket is just a s standard um, nylon lined with a smaller uh, pouch on the inside. The larger compartment has some uh, smaller um, pouches on the, uh, the panel and the main area and then this is the reinforced laptop uh, sleeve. And then on the back is just the uh, straps and the, the back panel padding. Uh, wear and tear on this, uh, some of the fabric has started to fray along the backpack straps where it joins with the rest of the backpack. Other than that, it's been in pretty decent condition. Now some of the pros, I really like the design of the, the backpack and this handle at the top, it is very comfortable. Some of the cons, um, on the inside of the backpack is the uh, laptop sleeve as I mentioned and there's this uh, little tab, that's a, it's magnetic and it's supposed to keep the opening secure. but. In my opinion, it's not that great, it's not very useful, and it does not really keep um, the, the tab closed. This does hold a 15-inch MacBook Pro. The InCase website says that it is compatible with the new 16-inch, and as of recording this on February the 17th, 
2020. This backpack is still sold by Incase. One of the other things that I don't like is that you kind of have to fold over the top of the uh, backpack to place or remove things into the main compartment because um, it doesn't really give a lot of room um, when it's unzipped, but that's something minor. The other thing is there is no uh, sternum strap. I don't find that it slides off my shoulders that easily, but I prefer having um, a strap to lock the, the main straps together. Would I buy this again? Uh, definitely. Um, this has held up quite well over the last almost three years and I really like the Incase product and as I mentioned this was my second backpack from them. And that's been my follow-up review on these three backpacks, the Incase Reform 15, the Black Diamond Bullet 16 liter, and the Dekine Gemini 28 liter. And as I mentioned earlier, the Gemini is no longer made by Dekine. The closest equivalent would be the Dekine Concourse. I will leave links to these various backpacks plus my original review videos in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below as well. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace and love.